already, my king. Tell me, Venakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Ah! <laughs> 
is your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! You will fly, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fools! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, king, all of Sparta's sons will be slaves for Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> that can be arranged! Not so tough without your army to protect you! No match for a Spartan! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, we will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be- Just started, of Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Jeez. 
She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. Back for last week! <coughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know, man. The Cyclops always collect his things. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. Hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Phoebe... We've been over this. I know, I know. He's just an ego. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So... Marcos... Who owes Midrachmi is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. 
Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. What you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Guess this is the vineyard. Hmm. Straight ahead. I keep telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops and his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. 
I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money! He always pays me back. After I threaten him. Exactly! Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Where can I find Luris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <sighs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things? Certainly. Steal the money if you have to. But don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. Mm, maybe I should have another look. Choose wisely. The one on the left. Uh, that one? This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. <laughs> I'll sneak up on the Malikis. Let me go! Shut it! 
or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. This tall grass will keep me hidden. The rest of those malakas get away. Huh? I heard something. That Marcos is going to be next. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now, since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> you have to be stronger than that! <laughs> Again, up. Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. The soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No! Him, take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> You don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! I lost the stone fist. 
has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Sammy, Grace will be at his shop. Cassandra, good to see you. Cassandra, good to see you. Get your boat here, good for... Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Ah, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you are going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. I told you. I've paid Marcos enough. <laughs> hey, stop! That's my stuff! All right, all right. I'll pay you. Just stop. Fine. The man is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Got a job to do, Cassandra? <laughs> Time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible.
We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's what I do best! This'll take more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Cassandra! <gasps> Alexios! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies.
Parish Fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. No, your moaning won't get the job done any faster. I'll kill the bandits and get your fucking wood back. I, I, I know you will. Take your time finding them. I trust you. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my... You stole that. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <laughs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There, you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra! It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. This will be simple for you. Sneak into the Cyclops' house and steal... Valuable as Marco says, it'll be hidden. <laughs> Come on.
Hello, I... I see you. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. am I to have that much protection? I have to stay out of view. Let's go, Phobos! How many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Quiere, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back? Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have! We'll be rich! The eastern coast... Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house, by a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. Ha <laughs> ha 
Let's go. The abandoned house and the people. Ella. Off we go now. This area will be well defended. Nothing here. Normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. There'll be more blood if you step closer. Perhaps. But then you won't hear my proposition, Mistyrus. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is. If you'll follow me, 
Cassandra. I am Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Nelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus? You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca is not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well... What's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius. Don't fail. of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to pace Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying.
Cassandra? Good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away, you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He'd do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is the rope. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Phokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telimenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What'll it take for you to part with her? Oh, couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Malaka. How's that helpful? That monster held Kefalonia captive for too long. I figure if anyone could finally rid us of his stents, it would be you. Telimenes, what does this have to do with my need for a boat? Rumor also has it the Cyclops has docked his ship in Kleptus Bay. 
His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Ride, Hobos! <laughs> Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Witch! What? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um. Oh, I didn't. But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it. Give it to me! You want it? Forget it! Your
shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. Why, Zeus? These Kefalonian bandits have no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. I can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were! All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles, while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So, you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The Sea God commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot! Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Seeing as I saved your ship and your life, I'd say you owe me. Mind of a Mystios. You know who you remind me of? Me! <laughs> a much younger me, of course, before I found my true purpose and lost my eye. You're changing the subject. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. You're right. I owe you my life. What could humble Varnavas do for the mighty Cassandra? I need a ship and a crew. <laughs> of course you do! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia!
be extra careful in this area. Ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Phoebe, you're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with a fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Cassandra. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I say so. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you, too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course! Though, you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris, but we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall! The child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us. Silence!
for her dishonor, for the life she has snuffed. Look she is me, not Spartan, Nicholas. Don't listen, Nicholas. Don't listen. No. No. Don't listen, Nicholas. Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. 